I have been obsessed, hyper fixated on the Sims 4 and the 100 Baby Challenge in the last couple of days. So I decided because most of my videos are a reflection of the things I'm interested in at the moment, I would film a video where my Sim controls what I read for 48 hours. We're bringing it back people. We're bringing back like my old content where I would do things for a span of time. We're here, we're doing it and I'm going to have my sim control what I read for 48 hours. Emma from Drinking By My Shelf did a similar video to this where she had her sim control which she would read for a whole month so her video will be linked down below but I'm going to be doing it for 48 hours because I have a busy month this month and I need to do this. Like I just want to do it so badly that all of my plans are going to go in the back burner until I do this video. So I'm going to get right into the video. As always, check my description down below for updated petitions and donation links and important resources for what's going on in the world. Let's get started. So I've already made my sim. Let's go into the game. <laughs> I'm already in position. It's just like like my guy knew that we were filming this video. So here's my sim. Do you see a comparison? Did I do a good job? Would you date him? I think he's pretty hot. He's wearing a flyers jersey just like me. Um, so the way I'm gonna do this is my sim is just going to read books. Whatever the genre is, is the book that I have to read. So I'm gonna do that, write it down, and then get this show on the road. Let's read something. Okay, what is it? Okay, what is this book? Love in a Time of Sandwiches. So he is reading Love in the Time of Sandwiches. Not something that I would pick up, but all right. I would love if they would sell the books in The Sims. That would be so cool for like us to actually read. I would love that. I do know exactly what I'm going to read for that. Um, if this is a romance book, let's just clarify on that one. Okay, so it is a romance. I'm going to read it. I'll show you my TBR afterward. Okay. So one, we have a romance. Come on. Oh my god, you're not reading the same book. Come on. Listen. Okay. <laughs> okay. So he's reading The First Unicorn. Alright. So now he's reading The First Unicorn. I assume is a children's book. Maybe a middle grade. Um, so let's see that. It's a children's book. Okay, so I could either go for a picture book or a middle grade book. All right, so I'm gonna aim for four books. Um, this should probably be easy. So I'm gonna let him sleep and see what else he reads. I probably have to feed him as well. Um, yeah, he's hungry. All right, let's make something and then get back to reading. Um, Let's make, what do we got? Acquired the cooking skill. Maybe we'll read a cookbook. That would be actually fun. I would like to do that. I don't think that there are any, no, there are like the skills books, but I would. <gasps> Man, you were just trying to make breakfast. Come on, come on. Come on. I should've just gotten, gotten a microwave. Listen, I'm buying a microwave now. I don't, we can't, we can't have this. I knew that was gonna happen. All right, now we have a thousand three hundred dollars. All right, buddy. What, we're not, don't do that ever again, please. That was horrible. <laughs> All right, let's read to calm down. Oh wait, he still didn't eat anything because he freaking burnt down the house. Okay, what book was that? Let's see. Yeah, that was another children's book, okay. My guy really knows how to do a readathon, honestly. He's really giving me some short books and I appreciate it. So this is our final book. So the last book is Point Farmer No More, The Downfall of Grant Rodaic. And this, I have to assume is a nonfiction. I looked it up and this is actually written 
after the senior producer of EA, so I love getting that plug. Um, so we're gonna read that, and I'm assuming this is going to be a nonfiction, so then we'll end out with a nonfiction, and I really like that. We've got a good TBR lined up, and honestly, this is just gonna be me reading all of my library books. What? That's a plot twist. It's a fantasy one. I don't even think I have any fantasy. What? What a plot twist. What a plot twist, okay. Oh, do I have any fantasy books? I don't know, but I guess I'm gonna read one today or listen to the audiobook. Okay. <laughs> So it is 2.17, I have my TBR all together and I'm just gonna run through it. First, for romance, I have Heartstopper Volume 1 by Alice Oseman. I have never read it, Alice Oseman before. I really didn't even want to read Heartstopper, but I went to the library, I saw it, and I picked it up because I have no control when I'm there. Um, so that is going to be my romance. I am very excited. Next is to read a children's book, and I have chosen Me, My Dad, and the End of the Rainbow by Benjamin Dean. I started some of it for the queer weekend. I am 84 pages in, and I want to continue finishing it. I was planning to continue it this weekend anyway, so this really works out for me. Next for my other children's, I have Ancestor Approved, edited by Cynthia Ledick Smith, and this is Inner Tribal Stories for Kids. I saw this recommended on Michelle's channel, which I'll have linked down below, and I've been wanting to read it. I saw it at the library, and I was so excited, and this is basically my library haul. Then the curveball that was thrown at me was to read a fantasy book, and I remember that I have a audiobook from Libro FM that I bought with one of my credits for The City We Became by N.K. Jemisin. This is one I've heard a lot about and I have seen this all on booktube. I am not a fantasy reader by any means. The audiobook is 16 hours and 12 minutes. I imagine that I am probably going to maybe get a little bit into it but I won't be able to finish it in this video. This is ambitious but I feel like I'm going to be able to do it. So it is Saturday, April 3rd. It is 2.23 p.m. and I am starting my video here and I'm going to read the first book, Heartstopper Volume 1. It is seven o'clock. I finished Heartstopper Volume 1 and I'm giving it a five star. It was adorable. I loved it so much. I love queer graphic novels. They're just so sweet. It reminded me a little bit of Check Please just because there's rugby in it and I really enjoyed it. I'm glad that I also picked up Volume 2 from the library so I can dive into that after this video. Now that it is seven o'clock and I finished my first book, I am going to read Me, My Dad, and the End of the Rainbow by Benjamin Dean. Finish up what I have of this. I am loving this so much. It is about 
a boy named Archie whose dad comes out as gay and it changes the family. I'm loving their writing. In my videos I always say how much I admire authors who write children and middle grade. Getting the voice of a child is so hard and Benjamin Dean is doing a great job in this. I am really enjoying this because it is first person so we are straight in the mind of Archie. He is 12 years old and I'm excited to see what else happens. So I'm going to get into reading this and I'll come back when I have some thoughts. It is 2.09 on Sunday, April 4th. It's Easter and I have a couple updates because I am failing this challenge very badly. Um, and that is because of course there's always a technical difficulty with everything that I do. What else is new? I went into my video because I like to just put everything together. Just need to check the footage and of course I checked the footage and it's laggy. So I am going to try and do what I can with the footage and I kind of went back and fixed some things. So hopefully the intro of this video will be a little bit better but honestly it's just what I could work with. With. I am a very small channel and can only do what I can with what I have. So I'm hoping that I can salvage what I have because then this video will not work at all. But anyway, I read a chapter more of Me, My Dad, and the End of the Universe. There's a great metaphor about cake in this book. Archie's dad comes out as gay and Archie is questioning what to do with this information. Um, as the events leading up to this were very hostile, making him confused because he thought that this was something really serious as his parents split up and were fighting all of the time. And so he is presented this information that his dad is gay and he is confused. There's a year 13 boy named Oscar who is also gay and he talks to Archie about the situation and he says to Archie that he should think of his dad like a cake. His dad being gay is just a slice of the cake and I thought that was a great metaphor. I'm excited to keep reading it. I'm loving the writing. It is written really well. This is a debut novel and I can't wait to get back into it. And I just received some surprise book mail from my friend Sarah at Streaming Bean Books. I'll link their channel down below. They gifted me Fat Chance, Charlie Vega. I have been wanting to read this book. I have it on my Amazon wish list. My Amazon wish list is down below if you'd like to support me. If there's ever a book that you would like to see me read in a video, my Amazon wish list is down below. Or if you just want to support me by gifting me a book, I would really appreciate it. It's always down below, but don't feel like you have to. I know that we're not in a good financial state right now so I totally understand but if you ever want to do that it is down below. Thank you so much to Sarah. This was such a surprise. I didn't know. I didn't get an email or anything that anyone bought me a book so thank you so much to Sarah and go and check out their channel. So that is it for this portion right now. I'm gonna spend the day reading Me, My Dad, and the End of the Rainbow. I have been doing some Camp NaNoWriMo work because I am doing Camp NaNoWriMo loosely I'm trying to get there. I need to film a bunch of writing updates and all of that which will hopefully be happening next week. I have a lot of filming to do for the three weeks that I didn't really film. I mean I did film because I was doing vlogs but besides that I wasn't filming content to put out. So there's that. This is a 48 hour reading vlog so I need to really step on it with the reading. So I'm going to spend the rest of the day reading Me, My Dad, and The End of the Rainbow and I will come back with my thoughts when I have finished.
Book update time is 10.30 on Monday and I don't have much of this challenge left and I'm failing very miserably. I am 140 pages into Me, My Dad, and the End of the Rainbow and I'm going to be in a car for the remainder of the day. So I will be ending this video in a car. I'm going to be getting a lot of reading done and I will probably be back when it's dark out. Um, but I enjoyed the B-roll of me reading in a car. next day. This challenge has been over for quite some time and I failed. I'm going to include the reading of Me, My Dad, and The End of the Rainbow, which I finished at like 11 o'clock last night, but because I didn't read much in this vlog, I'm going to count it anyway. Um, so let's wrap it up, shall we? So in this video, I've read Heartstopper Volume 1 by Alice Oseman and Me, My Dad, and The End of the Rainbow by Benjamin Dean, giving them both five stars. <coughs> this is a five star video. I loved both of these so much. Heartstopper has anxiety rep. It has a male-male romance. It has teens that are like 14, which is great to see. I love seeing young characters in YA. Highly recommend, really enjoyed this. I'm probably gonna start reading volume two today. This really lived up to the hype. I was never interested in it before, but I picked it up and really enjoyed it and can't wait to read volume two. And I finished Me, My Dad, and the End of the Rainbow by Benjamin Dean. This is a debut about a boy who gets lost at Pride and about his dad coming out as gay and him trying to kind of wrap his head around what that means for their family. And it was so well done. It's told in first person and we're in the head of the main character Archie who's a 12 year old boy and him just trying to figure out what is happening and to try and fix the relationship with him and his dad. His dad is very distant and kind of sad lately. He tries to find him at Pride and make him happy and it was so cute. If you want to read a book at Pride, this is the one. I've read many books that are set at Pride, but they just have never been good. Like, they either weren't entirely set at Pride or they just weren't good. And so if you are looking for a book set at Pride, I highly recommend this. It does a great job of teaching kids what Stonewall was, why Pride is so important, because the kids think it's just a party. And then they pick up a flyer that tells them all about it. And it was so educational and I loved it. I do want to buy another copy of this so that I can gift it to some family and friends who do have kids and do want to teach them about LGBTQ issues and LGBTQ plus people. Archie and his friends meet an older character who uses they them pronouns which I really enjoyed because I was kind of waiting for it. I was like okay well if we're gonna have all of the LGBTQ plus people here I want to have a non-binary person or just someone that uses they them pronouns here because it's very important and once that character arrived I was very happy. Very satisfied with both of these books. If you would like to see another video like this let me know. I think I have another idea in the works but if you do like game related videos I have an Among Us book tag which I will link up here. It is me playing Among Us while doing the Among Us book tag so if you haven't seen it, if you're new here and you just found this video go and watch that one and hit subscribe if you haven't. But that is it for me today. I do have a Patreon if you'd like to support me there for one dollar. I have 
exclusive content like reading vlogs on there and that's where I post my monthly wrap-ups so definitely go over there if you would like to become a paperback pal. I hope you're all having a great day and staying safe and I will see you next time. Bye!